Hi guys, my name is Brian Markman and welcome to this Logic Tip. Today we're going to talk about the Marquee Tool, my favorite and easily the most powerful of the tools in your Logic Arsenal. You can easily get to the Marquee Tool by just hitting T, which opens your toolbox, and you'll find it here second from the bottom. But even simpler than that, we can move up to the top and you'll notice that our left click tool, our primary tool, is set at our pointer and our command click tool is set at the Marquee by default. Now these can be changed at any point by just clicking and then you can select something different. But we're going to leave it like this because this is the most uh, powerful way to use it and also intuitive. You're going to notice that this is a really good guess for something you're going to use inside of your tracks view, your tracks area here. So I've got this simple loop right now and I'll show you some of the things I can do to it. If I wanted to, I can hold command, grab with my marquee tool, and once I have a selection I can do things like hold down option and make a copy so now I've got a double down here. I can click it with the pointer tool and it automatically separates at whatever boundaries I created using the marquee tool. Or I can hit M at any point and it will actually separate wherever the boundaries were with the marquee tool as well as muting that selection. So you can see it's pretty powerful. But it actually does even more stuff and makes your editing much, much simpler. And that's one of the things I wanted to show you today. So let's listen to this loop. Pretty simple, and you can hear how all the sounds are discrete, which is ideal for this type of editing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a tiny little slice, and you'll notice that if I use my arrow keys going left and right, it automatically stops at each individual transient. So if I hit delete when I get to a transient, I can cut up this loop pretty much as fast as I can move with my keys. So now I've got kicks, snares, and hi-hats separated. So if I go through and I grab, say, hi-hats, and obviously I used a real simple loop to do this, drag them down, snares, drag them down. Now what happens is I've got the discrete pieces of my loop all separated out in a way that makes it really, really easy and of course I can batch fade those little uh, slices to get rid of the pops at the end. So you can see how quickly this would influence your ability to edit and then do individual uh, processing on a loop when you've cut it apart. So those are some of the things you can do with Marquee. Probably the second favorite thing and, and most common thing that I do with Marquee besides that kind of editing is for automation purposes. So I went into my automation view and I can use my marquee tool just like I can in my normal editing, but what I can do is I can individually go in as if I were doing regular editing and then trim. Now this is not a unique feature, a lot of DAWs do this, but I just wanted to point out how simple it is and how effective it is when you're moving fast, especially when you, when you want to do quick automation trim inside of Logic. A lot of times people um, think that the program moves slowly because their understanding of how the tools work or how they apply them sort of in pressure situations isn't quite up to all of the design. And one of the things that's a big criticism of Logic a lot of times is some of the key features that in other programs are either MIDI or either mapped to keys or, or on the top layer are a little bit deeper inside of Logic. So it's worth a little bit of investigation because it's a really powerful program and very intuitive if you work with it. Right? So you can see how very quickly I could use that tab to to each transient feature to grab what I needed and then specifically go through and move around that automation. So the last thing I wanted to show you was right now the way we're working is great but sometimes if you're working fast you don't even want to use modifier keys. Maybe you've got your left hand on the mouse and your right hand on the keyboard but you want to leave it on the arrow keys so you can quickly slice and dice like we did a second ago. If we go into our preferences and we go into general and then editing You'll notice that down here, there's a tick box that says Marquee Tool Click Zone. What this does is this allows us to now access the Marquee Tool without using any keys. So you'll notice if I hover over a region here, I can select it with the top using the pointer tool, or if I hover the, set, the lower half of the region, it now becomes the Marquee Tool. I'm automatically doing what I was doing before by holding Command. Uh, now, if you're zoomed out a lot and you use things in a very small view, this can become a problem because sometimes you'll accidentally be in the tool that you don't want. And that can be particularly detrimental using things like flex mode or other things. But 
For the most part, I find that most of the resolution that I use when I'm working, this ends up being a huge time saver because I just quickly go do what I want to do and get where I'm trying to go. So that's the marquee tool. Hopefully this helped you to better understand one of the best features inside of Logic and will speed up your workflow a lot. Come back for some more tips with Logic. I'm Brian Markman. See you later.